Hell. Oh, sorry. Hello, everybody. This is Scott. I'm back with another video, and today I'll be showing you how to fix an error that's been going around with uh, Chrome. Google Chrome has been having an issue with YouTube, and the issue has it's has been that it can't play full screen videos. Uh, whenever I try to launch an old uh, full screen video, I just try. I was thinking, oh, whenever I did it. There was just a black screen around it, like I couldn't see the full video, and it didn't grow. It just went off to the top left corner, like it was like this little box. It was like, and the rest of it was just all black. It wouldn't extend out. So I knew it had to be an issue with Flash Player. What I did is I went into my uh, plugins and I started getting rid of useless stuff because uh, I'm not going to use a lot of this stuff. Like I don't even use this. And this should be off. And I just got rid of everything that I don't think that I knew wasn't important. Then I went to the Flash Player because I knew there was going to be an issue with it, and then I saw two files. Uh, Adobe Flash Player should not have two instances, and one of them is actually broken. Uh, you just access this by going Chrome colon uh, backslash, well, forward slash, forward slash, no, yeah, for, no, yeah, forward slash plugins, and then you go here and you go into your Adobe Flash Player. You're going to have the Shockwave Flash, which is actually the useful one. Then you're going to have uh, users cr uh, app data local Google Chrome Pepper Pepper Flash is a broke is broken. It's a uh, DLL file and it's an out of process by the Chrome. And uh, this is the one that I found to be broken. It, I don't know why it's broken. It's kind of I don't even know why it is here in the first place. But uh, yes, Google Chrome will not work as long as you have both of them running. And the other one that needs to be stopped is Pepper Flash because it's actually broken. And I think you can remove it by filing by following this file extension. And uh, you could delete it. You could try doing that. I wouldn't recommend doing it because uh, I'm not going to do anything stupid. We're just going to... And uh, here is the Pepper Flash DLL file. Uh, certificate, RSC. I could probably just go through and skim all this, but I really don't want to. So, yes, uh, just get something like a 7-zip or a WinRAR or whatever archive software that you use. And you can try and delete it. I wouldn't recommend this. I'd actually recommend backing it up beforehand because I don't know what it could do to your system. And since it is disabled, it means that Chrome isn't running the program However, at the same time, we don't know if Chrome needs it. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.